the fun. Coming up next, a shameless ploy to get in the good graces with the boss. We're going to help his ri wife rid her PC of the I love you virus just for you on the screensavers. Oh. Recently, one of our beloved Tech TV bosses managed to get his home PC infected with the I love you virus. And he asked us to... Not my pun, folks. Exorcise the cursed techno plague from his own home PC. Now, being the highly motivated employees and suck-ups that we are, of course we said, why, yes, sir, we'd love to do a segment on that. So we invited the boss's wife, actually, Carolyn Hammersley, and a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, sir. We're actually just... <laughs> Who's the guy, Patrick? <laughs> Our beloved Peter Hammersley, who swore he would never be on air, but we would like to thank him for gracing us with his... Oh, we hear some clapping here. It's your job, people! All right. Patrick, Patrick, <laughs> welcome to the show, folks. You forgot to give him the candy. There's candy there. Oh, okay. you know what? We actually have some candy for you guys. You might want to enjoy that. So, tell us, how did you manage to get the dreaded I love you virus on your system? Attachment, email, oh. outlook. You opened, opened it. it. it was okay. something that was coming in daily for me, and I just didn't look at the subject title. That's a tough one. It's actually, it's funny. That's the worst case when you normally get an email every morning from somebody, and then it shows up just with a little extra oomph in there. Yeah. And, you know, it's yeah. a long shot, but there oh. might have been a little peer-to-peer -peer sharing thing, files You may have downloaded hey. something that wasn't the song you thought from Napster. Uh, you know, not that I would do that. <laughs> not that you would do that. He, something. Mr. Hammersley's not a thieving weasel like many of you out in the audience. <laughs> he would only download. Anyhow, it happens. Everybody gets a virus once in a while, even those of us who choose not to run antivirus software because we're fools and or morons, <laughs> but we won't get into that. We want to tell you, though, one thing you always want to do, right? Start by downloading the latest virus updates. You guys normally run, I guess, Norton Antivirus? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you always want to do is, is make sure you have the latest antivirus definitions loaded on there. And what's nice about Norton Antivirus and pretty much every other antivirus on there is if I double-click, the machine wakes up good. I was going to say, hey, we've managed to crash your machine on air, folks. And what it'll actually do is you can go down and do live update, which is the one right there. That'll automatically scan on their site and download the latest nasties that they've managed to discover. Now, failing that, or if worse yet, it's something they haven't figured out an update for to add to your virus, what you can actually do is download, or actually check. So we're going to show you on another machine real quick. First thing you do is, if you think you've caught a virus, one of the best places to go is to the SARC, the semantic... Mm. Beloved semantic, <coughs> pardon me while I choke on my own popcorn, semantic antivirus research center. And what they do is this is their main page, www.sark.com. And what they do at sark.com is they list all of the latest threats and actually, even better yet, the tools they've come up with to remove it. So we've actually downloaded onto your system to get that. They actually have in here an expanded tool you actually download from this of the I Love You virus, which is somewhere in here. Excellent, VBS love letter. One of us can read, <laughs> and it's not me. So, but what's nice about this, they tell you what the latest viruses are as they're coming out, and as soon as they have a fix for it, they'll post it on the site. McAfee, other companies do the same thing. We just had pretty good luck with Symantec over the years. So, the nice thing is, check this out. Once we get it on your system, this is the actual the application right here. It's pretty fast, pretty tiny download to exercise the demons, to mm -hmm. use Roger and David's Hi. phrase. Double click on that and follow the instructions. This is great because it used to be a lot of DOS, booting from a DOS disk and loading. We hit remove. This is the exciting part. It's now scanning through your system trying to look for any examples yeah. of that virus. I mean, we went, we went down the route of using just the regular application uh -huh. you know, when it first came up. And, you know, damn if we could not I find know. the thing yeah, we actually in, managed in to wipe pieces. It. And it would keep coming back up you know, perniciously on its own. Well, one of the problems at that point, if you have something that's basically infested your system or if it's in the master boot record, you're either going to have to boot from a, like a DOS disk mm -hmm. and use a DOS-based removal tool, or it gets to the point where it's, you know, it's probably time to actually sit down, strip your favorite data off the computer, mm -hmm. clean it as it goes on to another backup computer, and then turn around, wipe the system, and rebuild it. That's an extreme situation. In this case, we actually managed to get it off using the tool. Usually, the, 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 the Norton should actually be able to run and take care of that. Sometimes it needs a little extra help. That's when those extra programs you can download can, can pretty much save your goose, if you will. So you tell me it's all better. It's all better. And you know what? <laughs> well, in case it's not, oh. we've decided to give you a brand new computer. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the beloved the Macintosh, Macintosh SE30. SE30. <laughs> the Macintosh SE30. What's cool. the clock rate on that? <laughs> I think I'd say it's an 8 megahertz eight computer. Megahertz You'll enjoy it. No, actually, that one goes all the way up to wow. 30. I was going to say, I think I said 30 hertz. 30 megahertz. Uh, 
It should be pretty exciting. We're going to show you guys one last actual application. There are, other than actually downloads, some pretty cool. I'm Thank sorry, we need that back now. Thank oh, you very um, much. It's it's just a, it's just a prop. prop. Yeah, I, I have to use it. I'm sorry. Nice. We'd like to thank Leo Laporte for working with us so closely over the years. <laughs> this extreme micro has a house call antivirus, which is actually a web-based antivirus tool that you use over the web and can actually scan your disk without you having to load up software. If you find you're having trouble or maybe your main software isn't working, mm -hmm. something like this is a nice way to maybe use something. It's like a second opinion. So it's something ah, to check okay. out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and we're actually going to have that. There's actually an article on the website, and we'll try to put that one in the show notes for you folks at home. Now, this is, this, this is written in the teleprompter. This is by the producers. I'm going to share this with you. Remember, all the antivirus programs can't replace common sense. Do not download files from sites you don't trust. Keep your antivirus program up to date and never open email attachments from people you don't know. In this case, they opened it from somebody they did know. That's one of the problems with the Visual Basic uh, add-ons. That's Mr. Hammersley. You will remember to remember that all that, Mr. Hammersley, sir. We know that. Anyhow, <laughs> Russ, don't talk in my ear. I get in enough trouble on my own. Back to you, Leo, quick, while we still have our job. Is he giving you bad suggestions? <laughs> I think he is. One good thing about this computer, it doesn't get the love bug.